five keys to success that I wrote down that I, you know, that, and I'm going to give you these slides so you can, you don't have to write these down. Uh, you must time block for lead generation every single day. These are principles that you know already. I've taught you, but I'm just reminding you. You must focus on the three lead buckets. You must remove thinking from the equation. Okay. This is something that's very difficult for people to understand. When you start thinking, you we got a problem. I'm going to come back to that one in a minute. Your lead gen focus should be on listings and you don't want to reinvent the wheel. Okay. We have a lot of mavericks out there. I was talking to my coach Artemis this morning and we were talking about a fellow mentorship master member um, that Artemis is coaching. And the guy's a maverick, you know, just like I was when I was young and, and dumb. <laughs> I said it. Um, he basically is like, I'm going to do it my way. Now, he's not doing that anymore. But what happened was he grew up in such a way where he had to provide for himself. He had to scrimp and scrape. Nobody was going to do it for him. So he developed this thing where I'm not going to trust anybody. I'm going to do it all myself. I'm going to, I'm just going, I'm going to make it happen. If you want it done right, you do it yourself. All this kind of, you know, uh, self-limiting beliefs. And so what's happened though, is that he's carried that with him his whole life. And he's only in his early thirties. Now here's, here's the, 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 the thing about this. We develop certain beliefs and systems in our life that help us big time when we need them. Right. And these systems and beliefs come from the ego, E-G-O, okay, with a capital E. <laughs> um, they're very necessary. They're useful. You know, we're not going to throw the ego out or, or you know, trash talk it. Um, they help you survive. It's a survival mechanism. When I, when I grew up in a household where I was tortured, for lack of a better word, and taught that I was worthless, okay, um, I developed certain uh, responses that helped me deal with the world okay and they were very useful at the time okay it was and and when i when i left home at 16 and i was out on the streets for two years living being a hustler living that life there were certain things that i gained that were useful to survival okay but we're not talking about surviving anymore guys i'm talking to you about thriving okay so a lot of the things that you're doing right now in your career, in your business, in your life is from a trauma response. That's all it is. It's just a trauma response. You react the way you react because you don't know any other way of reacting. And what I'm telling you is now it's time to acknowledge the trauma response and let it know you did a great job. Not trusting people was a great thing. It was really good, Nolly, when you were out on the streets for two years and you didn't know if somebody was there to rob you or help you. <laughs> it was good to not trust people. I get that. That was a great thing, Nolly. But now we're good, man. We're living good, man. You living on the edge. You in the mountains. You got the ocean in front of you. You're on the in the rainforest. You're in a gated community, a double gated that. OK, you're you're you know, everything in your, your, your stuff is paid for. I mean, you're good, man. You can, you can drop that one. OK, and this is how you have to start talking to the ego, because the ego, um, Dr. Um, who was it that uh, Dr. Murphy talks about in his book? You'll get we'll get to that one later. I don't want to confuse you. But in his book, he talks about how a lot of people try to do things with um, they basically willpower is what they're using. And willpower doesn't work. It works for a while. <laughs> It'll work for about two or three weeks. It's a hack, um, but it's not it's not it doesn't sustain. OK, now let's go back to number three here on the key secrets to success. You have to remove thinking from the equation. This is the reason why when I give you an assignment or tell you to do something, I'm doing it in such a way where you don't have to even think. It's like, here's my guide, you know, copy, paste it and tweak it and you're done. <laughs> you don't have to think about how to do it. Why? Because that's when we get into trouble. OK, these things have been already thought out. OK, and they you know, I, I don't have to think about how to breathe. I don't have to think about, um, you know, how to how to have the blood course through my veins. The, the body's already figured that out. You know, I have I have no input on that. Right. And so if as little thinking as you can do in the process of lead generation, the better for you. 
In other words, you create a system and then you just do it. Let me give you another example. So I'm doing for the first time in my life. I'm going to tell you something. You guys ready for something that's God's honest truth? It's going to sound crazy. You guys ready for it? I have not done laundry one time since I've been married. Not even once. I've never done laundry. I've been married 30 years. <laughs> it's been over 30 years. I've never done laundry since we've been married. Never. Okay. Just never done it. So my wife is in one room. She's walking me through how to run the washing machine. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> and so I want to read the instructions. You know, I'm a, I'm I'm SC, baby. I want to read the whole manual. She's like, you ain't reading no manual. This is all you got to do. And I'm like, dang, it's that easy. You just press the, you, you turn the knob to the setting or you press start, turn the knob. Then you press another button. You're done. And then the thing turns off when it's supposed to. I'm like, dang, that's easy. I thought you were doing hard work up in here. Now, just no, but but I mean, I I I learned how to do laundry, okay? And I've already done a couple of loads. I'm actually kind of proud of myself about it. But here's the thing: the the machine was difficult to build. I get it. Putting together that machine. I mean, it's the laundry machine we have right now, the washing machine, you can run it from your smartphone. I mean, it's like that. I mean, it's it's gangster. But here's the thing. It took a lot to build that. But once it's built, it's it just runs. Now, what we're doing right now with your business, we're building the washing machine. It's hell to build. It's I, I guarantee you, it's not fun. It's not easy. But once you build it, you just go turn a couple of knobs and press play. You you good. You got a load of fresh listings or fresh, you know, leads. Boom. Just like that. That's why we're building the machine first. Does that, everybody get that? Does that make sense? All right. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, I want to invite you out to Nolly Coaching Club. That's right. The Nolly Coaching Club is where I'm able to teach, train, and coach you every single week to your ultimate greatness. Go to nollycoaching.com and I'll see you on the inside.